Vice President Harris and her new running mate got a rapturous welcome here in Philadelphia, where the line to attend their first joint rally stretched more than six city blocks. To his former high school students, he was Mr. Wall. To his former high school football players, he was coach. And in 91 days, the nation will know Coach Waltz by another name, Vice President of the United States. She believes in the promise of America. We just got to fight. We just got to fight. Because as soon to be President Harris says, when we fight, we win. Sources close to the selection process tell CBS News it was his leadership experience and strong rapport with Harris that pushed Governor Waltz to the top of her list. Hi, this is Tim. It's Kamala Harris. Good morning, Governor. Campaign cameras were rolling this morning when Harris called Waltz to offer him the job. Listen, I want you to do this with me. Let's, let's do this together. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? It'll be a privilege to take this with you across the country. The choice was embraced today by Democratic leaders and union leaders, by progressives like Bernie Sanders, who called Walls a great asset, and by moderates like West Virginia's Joe Manchin, who said, I can think of no one better than Governor Walls to bring balance back to the Democratic Party. As Governor Waltz has signed laws to expand paid leave and boost background checks for gun owners. A hunter himself, Waltz will be counted on to take the fight into the heartland. Are they a threat to democracy? Yes. Are they going to take our rights away? Yes. Are they going to put people's lives in danger? Yes. The Trump Vance campaign called the Democratic ticket dangerously liberal today. Tim Waltz's record is a joke. He's been one of the most far left radicals in the entire United States government at any level. Harris and Walls launched their partnership here in Pennsylvania because it is the largest battleground state. But they'll be traveling together all week, heading next to Michigan and Wisconsin on Tuesday. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Philadelphia.